So in today's video, I'll be discussing the top three potential mock trades with Kevin Knox that the New York Knicks would consider this offseason. And since the Knicks need to cut or trade Kevin Knox or Luca Vildoza to sign Dwayne Bacon, I made these three mock trades that allow the New York Knicks to receive some compensation for Kevin Knox instead of losing him for nothing. So before I get into the video, if you guys haven't already, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And also hit that notification bell button not to miss out on more awesome New York Knicks content content like this. And now with that all out of the way, let's get into the video. So last season for the New York Knicks, Kevin Knox averaged about 4 points and 2 rebounds per game, while shooting about 40% from 3 point range, 40% from the field, and 80% from the free throw line. And last season he had a very inconsistent role with the team, and he didn't play at all in many of those games. But at 21 years old, he definitely still has a ton of time to improve on his game, and the fit just isn't there for the Knicks right now. But at 6'9", Kevin Knox could play the shooting guard, small forward, and even power forward positions. And overall, he's a fairly good 3-point shooter on the court, as he's also a decent defender and scorer. And as a backup forward, he would contribute to an NBA team right now, and he just needs the right team and the right developmental staff to be able to reach his full potential. So with that all being said, now let's get into the first mock trade that sends Kevin Knox out of New York. So in this mock trade, the New York Knicks would receive Miles Turner and the Indiana Pacers would receive Mitchell Robinson, Kevin Knox, and two future second round picks. And for the Knicks, this trade does make sense because they do get a starting center in Miles Turner. And in my opinion, Miles Turner is better than Mitchell Robinson overall. And last season for the Indiana Pacers, Miles Turner averaged about 13 points, 7 rebounds, 1 steal, and 3.5 blocks per game. On shooting a solid 34% from 3-point range, 48% from the field, and 78% from the free throw line. And unlike Mitchell Robinson, Miles Turner is a floor spacing big man. And in contrast to Robinson, Turner could play the power forward and center positions. And at 6'11", Miles Turner would be a big offensive upgrade at the center position for the Knicks as well as an even better shot blocker. And at 25 years old, Miles Turner will still improve in his game. And even though he is injury prone, Mitchell Robinson is as well. And in this type of trade, the Knicks wouldn't have to give up any future first round picks. And the Knicks would need to give up Mitchell Robinson, which is definitely tough to see, but it is worth it for someone like Miles Turner. And for the Indiana Pacers, they get a solid return for Miles Turner, who is injury prone. As they get two young players in Mitchell Robinson and Kevin Knox, as well as two future second round picks. And one of those picks would be from the Detroit Pistons, which would likely mean that that pick would be in the early second round. And for the Pacers, they get another shot blocking big man in Mitchell Robinson, but Mitchell Robinson is quicker than Miles Turner as a big man and at 23 years old he is 2 years younger. And at 21 years old they get a young player in Kevin Knox who could develop into something special. And with that being said, now let's get into the second mock trade to send Kevin Knox out of New York. So in this mock trade, the New York Knicks would receive a 2022 second round pick and the Orlando Magic would receive Kevin Knox. And this trade does make sense for both teams in my opinion, since for the New York Knicks they get a 2022 second round pick which adds into their draft capital and they get rid of some cap space with Kevin Knox especially with them knowing that Knox will likely not be in the rotation next season if they were to keep him and for the Orlando Magic this trade does make some sense because they do get a young and upcoming player and they will get Kevin Knox's versatility and athleticism and he can either be their starting or backup forward and Knox is from Florida so that would definitely add some chemistry to his team and to get Kevin Knox for a second round pick since he was a first round pick at pick number 9 in 2018, definitely would be a low risk high reward type of a move. And with that all being said, now let's get into the third and final mock trade. So in this mock trade, the New York Knicks would receive DJ Augustine in a future first round pick from the Brooklyn Nets, as the Houston Rockets would receive Kevin Knox and two future first round picks from the Knicks. And for the Knicks, getting DJ Augustine does not make sense right now, but they can always find a way to potentially reroute him and trade him to a different team. Or they could just simply waive him. And this could turn out to be a three team deal, but if it's not, this is how it could look like. And for the Knicks, they also get a future first round pick from the Brooklyn Nets, 
which would likely be in the late first round, but for two second round picks it's definitely worth it to acquire a first, since they can use that in a potential superstar trade in the future like Damian Lillard or Bradley Beal. And for the Houston Rockets, this trade does make sense because they do get a young player in Kevin Knox, to add to their young core in Jalen Green, Christian Wood, Alperin Sengun, Usman Garuba and Josh Christopher. And they also get two future second round picks and give up DJ Augustine's contract, which definitely would make sense for the team. And again, this is probably unlikely but it's still a chance that it could happen. So with that all being said, let me know in the comment section down below which of these three trades do you guys like the most. And if you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more New York Knicks content like this, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new. And it's been KNYT here and I'm out. Peace.